Located in Derbyshire, England, is this magnificent Elizabethan country house, with a rich and storied history spanning over four centuries. From its construction in the late 16th century, to its status as a cherished historical landmark today, the story of Hardwick Hall begins with the formidable Bess of Hardwick, one of the most remarkable women of her time. Born Elizabeth Hardwick, in 1527, she rose from relatively humble beginnings as a member of the minor gentry, to become one of the wealthiest and most politically astute women in England. Her secret formula, was her charismatic personality, her shrewd business sense, and a series of advantageous marriages. Yes, Bess married four times. With each union increasing her social standing, and the death of each husband, increasing her wealth. In 1590, shortly after the death of her fourth husband the sixth Earl of Shrewsbury, Bess embarked on an ambitious building project, to showcase her wealth and status, in Elizabethan society. At the time, she was already 70 years young, and would live to enjoy her beloved Hardwick Hall for another 18 years. Completed in 1597, on the site of her childhood home, Hardwick Hall was not only a status symbol, but also a practical and functional residence. It was a grand and imposing structure, with its exceptionally large windows, high ceilings, and ornate decoration. Designed by the architect Robert Smithson, Hardwick Hall is quite renowned for its many large windows, which flood the interior with light and provide panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. As a luxury item of the time, the abundance of glass was just another method best used to impress. With the home ultimately earning the saying, Hardwick Hall. More glass than wall. The house consists of six distinctive towers, each rising to four stories, giving it a striking silhouette against the Derbyshire landscape. Each tower is topped with intricately carved stonework, proudly monogrammed, with the Countess of Shrewsbury's initials in the open work. As she was greatly interested in architecture, Bess was intimately involved in the design and construction of the hall, overseeing every detail to ensure it reflected her vision and status. Together with Smithson, they created a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture that seamlessly blended functionality with grandeur, equipped with all the modern conveniences of the time. Inside, the interiors are equally impressive, featuring elaborate plasterwork, ornate wood paneling, and a plethora of grand staircases. Hardwick, was one of the first great Elizabethan houses, to have the Great Hall run all the way through the center of the house, rather than perpendicular to the entrance. This gave the home a more symmetrical layout. Each level came with its own unique prestige. With the three main stories having a higher ceiling than the one below. The ceiling heights were indicative of the importance of the room's occupants. From least noble at the bottom, to the most regal at the top. As a close confidant of Queen Elizabeth I, Bess used Hardwick Hall to entertain royalty, nobility, and other influential figures of the time. Its opulent interiors, adorned with rich tapestries, fine furniture, and exquisite artwork, provided the perfect setting for lavish feasts, political intrigue, and social gatherings. Following Bess's death in 1608, Hardwick Hall passed to her son William Cavendish, 1st Earl of Devonshire, and then through successive generations of the Dukes of Devonshire. Though each generation of the Cavendish family left their mark on the house, the basic structure and design of the hall remained largely unchanged, and it remains one of the best-preserved Elizabethan houses in England. In 1956, after the sudden death of the 10th Duke of Devonshire, and the choking death taxes that came along with it, the Cavendish family opted to give Hardwick Hall to the British Treasury, in lieu of payment. Subsequently, the Treasury transferred the house to the National Trust in 1959, ensuring its protection, and allowing it to be enjoyed by all. Still owned by the National Trust, today, Hardwick Hall is open to the public year-round. It is a popular tourist attraction, known not only for its collection of fine artifacts and impressive architecture, but also for its stunning gardens, and natural scenery. Visitors can now walk through the rooms to experience Bess's world, with much of the present furniture having belonged to her, and the needlework having been worked on by her. Within the estate's 2,500 acres of parkland, are ponds, woodland, wetlands, and a delightful variety of flora and fauna. The gardens surrounding Hardwick Hall, include spectacular borders of herbaceous plants, orchards, lawns, formal hedges, and even a kitchen garden. You will also come upon Hardwick Old Hall. A slightly earlier house, which was used as a guest house, after the new hall was built. This old hall, is now a well-preserved ruin. 
One can also enjoy a warm meal or snack at the on-site restaurant. As well as shop for books, plants, or local handmade gifts at the various shops on the estate. Receiving close to 300,000 visitors each year, Hardwick Hall continues to honor the legacy of the woman who helped shape it. All the while, marveling at the splendor of Elizabethan England.